everyone, you're welcome once more to MAPH, your YouTube channel where we solve problems on mass. I'm your tutor, Mr. Opuki, and if you are new to this channel, you're highly welcome. Go through the channel, there are lots and lots of outstanding videos out there for you to watch and uh, improve your math skills. You can also introduce this channel to your friends, to your students, family, and everybody around the world, you know, that needs to improve on their mask. So without wasting much of our time, let's get right into today's problem. Today's problem is on calculus and uh, differential calculus, you know, and uh, it's on trigonometric functions. So the question says differentiate sine x minus x multiplied by what? Cos x. All right, the first thing you want to do is to identify a problem, okay? So this is a problem on calculus. And on this part, we have to differentiate sine x minus x cos x. And on this part, I'm observing that there is a product. So something is multiplying what x. So we have x multiply cos x. So that's the product. These dots stand for what product multiplication. So for this part, we are going to apply what our product rule, which if you have some basic in your knowledge of calculus or differentiation, you know that this becomes our u and this becomes our v, all right? Of course, the product rule is all that you keep this u, you differentiate what your v respect to x plus what you keep b and you differentiate u respect to x. So that gives us our dy over dx of this part. All right, so, but let's <clears throat> express the whole you know, expression in differential form. So we are going to have this as differentiating what? Our sine x, okay, minus, right? Now we have to differentiate all this using the product rule. So I'm going to keep u first as x, so I have x, so differentiating, Okay, our cos x and plus what? Now we're going to keep v, v is cos x. So I have a cos x and we're going to differentiate what x. So we are going to differentiate x. So that is the expression we have for all this if we are to differentiate it. Now we can go further to simplify. So this is going to give us, okay, I have, uh, now the standard derivative of sine x gives us what cos x, right? Okay, you can consult your textbooks. Deriving a sine x gives us what? Differentiating cos x gives us, differentiating sine x gives us cos x. So minus, now we have this, so I have x multiply, Differentiating cos x is going to give us minus sine x. Whenever you differentiate a trigonometric function with c at the beginning, you always put your answer with minus. Very important. So cos becomes what sine x by the standard what mm. derivative you have that this gives us what minus sine x. So we have plus. Okay, this is what cos x multiply. Now, if we are to differentiate this, what do we do? Remember, this is x raised to power one, so I have x raised to power one. I'm going to simply what? Subtract one from it, and also multiply this one here, okay? So that is how to differentiate this x. All right, so I haven't gotten this step. We can now go further. See what we're going to get. So this is going to give us cos x. That's what we have here, minus. Now for this part, x times all is going to give us minus x sine x, all right, plus. Okay, so this will give us what? So we have cos x multiply. One minus one is zero. One times x raised to power zero. So we have, x raised to the power of zero. 
So all this simplifies to give us x raised to the power of zero. So let's still simplify further to see what we are going to get. So this will give us cos x minus uh, minus x sine x plus this is cos x multiply this is one with your basic knowledge of indices x raised to the power of zero is one so we have this as cos x okay minus is going to multiply all these so i have minus i can decide to put one there so minus one times minus x sine x minus times minus is going to give me plus one times all this is going to give me x multiply sine x now minus one will multiply all this so minus times minus here minus times plus here is going to give me minus one times all this is still going to give us cos x remember cos x times one is still cos x all right so we have this expression now we can what we arrange because i can observe something common so this and this okay they are alike so we have this as cos x minus what cos x plus x multiply sine x now remember cos x minus cos x is going to give us zero plus what x multiply sine now zero plus this okay is simply going to give us x sine x so the solution to this problem is x multiplied by what sine x so that gives us the solution to this problem all right guys hit the like button and do well to subscribe to this youtube channel and send this video to somebody who may be of help i'll see you guys in my next video bye